So, for everyone wondering, this is the vacuum forming process. And now we wait. So, what I'm doing here is as the PTG in here heats up, I'm watching as it sags down below. And when it reaches a certain point, is when I will pull it out and press it down on top. If you want to take a look. So you can kind of see it'll start to uh, sag downwards here in just a second. And it's something that takes a little time and a little getting used to is kind of the art of vacuum forming. It's figuring out how much drop you need for whatever it is you're doing or the thickness of the plastic or whatever. And that's really the difference between getting a successful pull and an unsuccessful pull. Alright, as you can see, it is pretty much perfect. Come around here real quick. So if I've ever talked about when I've messed up in the past or messed up with vacuum forming, this is the vacuum former's nightmare, is this right here called webbing. For this particular uh, buck, it doesn't matter too much because this is all gonna get cut off anyway, so this is fine. I kind of planned on there being a little bit right here. But if it were to be on this side or any of the areas where I'm not gonna be cut it off, it would ruin the whole piece and I have to do it over. So this is just kind of the nightmare I have to look out for and as I design all this is to make sure that doesn't happen. Alright, let's demold this.